Hey there guys, this is NDM here bringing you another episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Okay, so in the last episode we, um, what did we do? We did Bonefin Galaxy and we also did Honey Climb Galaxy. So in this episode we are going to resume the Deep Dark Galaxy because, well, that's the uh, um, galaxy we was, do we was doing in the Garden Dome. So uh, let's go ahead and do the second Power Star in here. I have completely forgotten what this one is. I mean, it's been a while since I've been to this dome anyway, so um, most of this is blind to me, much like Melty Molten Galaxy, and so is Dreadnought, but I remember Dreadnought because of how painfully annoying it was. Uh, that's the only... <laughs> I don't have nice memories of that galaxy, let me just say. I just say I've got really bad memories um, because it's like one of the hardest galaxies in the game, in my opinion. Okay, right, so what you want to do here is, uh, well it's kind of blatantly obvious what you want to do here, you want to get those coconuts and smash the glass that he's inside the turret with because we don't have spring Mario so we can't spring all the way to the top and ground pound him by using spring Mario and get back here because I want your star bits dude seriously, hold the hell still yeah, that's right, that's what I want to see and um, also plans for future videos I want to try and get um, the sling pod galaxy done so we'll go ahead and get Sling Pod out of Galaxy done once we've done um, the yeah once we've done Dreadnought Galaxy we'll go back to Sling Pod because I want to get that done out of the way because that's like the only Hungry Luma Star left for me to do in the um, Comet Observatory. So that's what I'm going to do after I've done Dreadnought. And this guy's pretty easy. He's not as um, hard as what the one with the spring, uh, where you had to use Spring Mario in Toy Time Galaxy and in um, Golden Leaf Galaxy. So this guy, this guy's easy, and they should make it easy because you beat this guy like five million times already. But no, I'm joking. This is the third time <laughs> we've encountered this guy, and he goes kaboom! Yay! Right. So is there anything on that planet up there? I wonder if it, even if it's still there. Here it is. It's still all the way up there. If I can get the um no I missed it again, damn it. <laughs> I don't think you actually need to come up here. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna get fire marrow anyway just in case. We might need to open the door again with fire marrow Mario by lighting those torches with our fireballs. So let's see if we have to do that again. If we don't, well uh I don't think we actually no we don't, okay. Well there was no purpose in even going to that place then. Oh actually maybe there is. Hang on a second. There's three torches here instead of, instead of um, yeah. Okay, we were supposed to get fire Mario in order to get ice Mario. So, yeah, uh, we haven't actually used ice Mario that much in this game. I think this is the third time we've seen ice Mario in the whole playthrough so far. Whereas we've always been playing as fire Mario and rainbow Mario and bee Mario and spring Mario and all those Mario upgrades. Hang on a second. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. I need to get all my star bits back here. Now, second. Well, I need to get all my star bits back here. I mean, I need to get all these star bits down here. Yeah, I'm kind of zoned out right now. I just had a maths exam. Uh, I just went. It's now. Uh, it's 11.43 in the morning, and I woke up at. Uh, at, at 7.30 I think and that's not the usual time I get up so and also I didn't really get that much sleep last night either so I'm kind of really tired <laughs> right now but I need to get these videos recorded because I don't have any galaxy videos on my desktop at the moment so I need to do this no matter how drowsy I may sound I need to get as um, many recordings done as I can uh, who knows, maybe I might perk up a bit after I've done a few of these recordings. Because um, that usually does happen, like, yesterday for example, I was really kind of, oh, I was kind of tired yesterday, but I'm not as I wasn't as tired yesterday as I am now. Um, but yesterday I was tired, and I did mention, I think it was in my Mother 3 video that I was tired. And I can't even seem to get up here, right, uh, what the heck, dude? Oh, so I've got to go all the way back again and get onto this pole <laughs> again, well try to get onto this pole 
So yeah, as I was saying, I think I mentioned in my Mother 3 video yesterday that I was tired, but I'm not as tired as I was yesterday than what I am now. And when I recorded Mother 3 yesterday, I started to feel much more lively and much more awake because I was talking and commentating and engaging in the game and stuff, trying to focus on what I was meant to do next and things. So Wait, I had it, I had it. Oh, right, I thought I jumped off then and really screwed that up. Okay, don't let the octopus knock you off, whatever you do, otherwise you have to go all the way back up again, that's not what you want. <laughs> he fell all the way off there, he fell off all the way, oh man, he fell off the cliff. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, hang on a second, let me have a look. Yeah, there's something, well there's that all the way there, but what's all the way this side? I don't think there's anything that side, I'm not sure. You know, there's a rotating platform in the center with a giant coin in the middle. Um, not of my interest though. Uh, I don't think we need to go that way to be honest with you. What power star is this by, by any chance? Is this the third? Well, I know it's the second one, but what's the name of it? Oh, Bubble Blast Off, I think it says. Something like that. Uh, so I guess we have to be riding some bubbles. Uh, which I don't actually see right now. <laughs> I don't see any bubbles. And I didn't mean to do that either, but okay. Whatever you say, Jose. Um, Alright, so you have to swing on these things like monkey paths, whatever they're called. I don't know how you move on these, to be honest with you. Whether you... Because I'm moving on the joystick with a nunchuck. Whether that makes a difference or not, which I don't think it does. I was just being a stupid ass. Trying to move the joystick back and forth, hoping that I'd swing. Because that's what you normally do in Donkey Kong country in those games when you have to go swinging from vine to vine. Not that I've ever played, well I have played Donkey Kong Country. I played the second one and I played the first one but I absolutely suck at them. I think I've already mentioned this before too. Like I tried playing Donkey Kong Country 2 and I got as far as the second world and I couldn't do it. And I did really bad at it. But I got it on the virtual console. I didn't play it on an emulator so I was actually playing it with a joystick. Um, well, obviously not with the original SNES controls. I mean, I, I don't know if I'd be better on the SNES than I am on the Virtual Console, because that could also be the case. Because the Virtual Console controls are a lot different than the SNES controls on the actual console itself. <laughs> um, right, so we're actually now on the series of planets where we have to use the blast-off mechanism to gain to get to get access from one planet to the next. Uh, whether these stumps actually, what, whether these stumps actually serve any purpose or not, I don't know. Oh yeah, they do. They actually activate the slit. They actually activate the bubble gun for you, so you can now blast off. And these cheap cheeps aren't really helping me that much. They're bouncing all over the place like magic harps, using the move splash. Um, there's an actually there's actually a funny definition of a magic harp on Pokemon X and Y. Um, that says, this Pokemon is completely pathetic, why the hell would you want to use this Pokemon or something like that in the Pokedex, that's the actual analysis for a Magikarp. Like, that's kind of harsh. <laughs> I feel sorry for Magikarp. Ugh. Wait, do we have to ground pound on anything here? I was thinking you have to ground pound on this or something. Hang on, wait. Oh, we got a toad ship. There's a power star hidden inside that watermelon. Use ground pounds to make those make those tennis balls hit the watermelon to get that power star. Right, so we gotta find some coconuts apparently to hit a water Oh I see what you meant. Oh right, okay, I get it. Yeah, right. You have to ground pound on the coconuts and they're supposed to go into the melon. And what happens is I think the whole planet turns into a melon or something. So let's uh, get these coconuts to merge into the watermelon, however the hell that happens. Well, it seems like the coconuts are just merging into the watermelon to make a gigantic mega watermelon. <laughs> if I can actually get these things, they're trying to avoid me. Yeah, these things definitely have very good evasive skills. Okay, that's two. Now I need to get the third one. Man, imagine if you could stop time. This would be so much easier. Well, actually, in Galaxy 2, there is a me there is actually a, a mechanism where you can slow down time and make time go a lot more slower, which I found very cool. 
Okay, dude, I I'm almost dead, and if I die, I don't know where I'm going to end up, which means then we'll have to go all the way through the level again, which is not what I want to do. Oh, come on, that was right on it. Come round, come round, come round, come round. Yes. Boom! <laughs> See, I told you the whole planet turns into a, mo a giant watermelon, and it breaks the glass, but the but the lasers are still pulsating so make sure you get the power star and don't die if you're on one piece of health which wouldn't be the brightest idea if I must say so myself um, right so that's pretty much taken up the whole video uh, we're on 10 minutes here now so I'm going to have to end off the video here and continue on in the next episode so in the next episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy uh, we shall be doing the third and final main star in Deep Dark Galaxy. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take care, see you in my next video, and goodbye.